Decades old cold cases are now being solved thanks to new DNA technology. It has the potential to deliver hope to countless families of unsolved murders. Genealogy sites like Ancestry and 23andMe are sharing DNA information with authorities to help solve stalled cases. Locally, the technology has led to the arrest of a man accused of a rape at an Oakland Township golf course more than 20 years ago, and it helped solve a nearly four decades old cold case in Livingston County. Nationally, the Golden State Killer was brought to justice through DNA evidence. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaked has the special report showing us how more criminals are being caught by unlocking their family trees. Every day we leave DNA on everything we touch, just like this plastic cup. Now genealogy sites are sharing that information, proving to be a game changer for detectives. You know, it's, it's a struggle every day, just knowing that whoever did this to my brother is just out and about walking around, living their life. For Melanie Ma'at, the pain of losing a loving brother is real. 50-year-old Ralph Purifoy was a disabled Marine vet, stabbed to death at Cook Park off Fenkel in Detroit last year. Hopefully, whoever did this um, won't do it to someone else. But she says police increasingly using genealogy sites like Ancestry and Family Tree to look back at cold cases brings hope. Power of a million genetic markers now connecting dots in ways never before thought possible. My office is, as we speak, actively reviewing investigations that we would 10 years ago say there's no hope. Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald says criminals now have something new to fear. We can discover who you are just if a, a, a family member that you might not have ever met submits their DNA. Here's how it works. A combined DNA index system known as CODIS, run by the FBI, taking shared DNA data from loved ones and matching against public records, narrowing down who a suspect could be. In the case of accused rapist Kurt Rylema of West Bloomfield, investigators say DNA he shared with two brothers led right to him. Once investigators at Penn State matched the DNA from a decades-old rape case on a golf course, to the same DNA in a woman's rape at this Oakland Township golf course in 99. Anybody that has gone 20, 22 years in, in a crime thinks, I got away with it. Oakland County Sheriff's deputies tracking down Rylama. McDonald charging him with first and second degree CSC. He faces as much as life in prison. We've learned Parabon Nano Labs is behind the investigative genealogy work that's helped to now solve 230 violent crimes in the U.S. and Canada in the last four years. And in California, the high-profile Golden State Killer, former police officer Joseph D'Angelo, pleading guilty to 13 counts after being linked to a series of 70s and 80s burglaries, rapes, and murders. Closer to home in Wayne, Oakland, and Livingston counties. Ancestry DNA technology becoming a commonly used tool. I ordered a re-examination of all of our cases where we have DNA in violent crimes that could bring this paired DNA and genealogical investigation together. What has the loss of your brother done to your family? You know, it's, it's a struggle every day just knowing that whoever did this to my brother is just out and about walking around living their life. Melanie believes a DNA match for Rolf's killer could come anytime, unlocking clues to who committed that cold blooded murder haunting his family to this day. The use of DNA technology would definitely help find uh, whoever this was that did this to him and it would give us a lot of closure. In the meantime, the Oakland County prosecutor also wants to give credit to police at Penn State for helping to catch a suspected rapist. Simon Shaykett, 7 Action News. Just amazing how technology can help yeah, it'd solve It'll be interesting crimes to today. see what happens, yeah. Yes, indeed. All right.